Somebody holler, be aggressive. I got to get you out of here. So aggressive poverty must be countered with aggressive faith. It, 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 it must be bold. Aggressive faith to prosper in these times, you have to be bold. In Hebrews 11, 32 and 34, we'll go there real fast. Let's move real fast. Somebody shall be aggressive. Somebody shall be aggressive. It says, and what, and it says, and what shall I more say? For the time would fail me to tell of Gideon. I could tell you what God did with him, but the time would fail me of Barak and of Samson and of Jephthah, of David also, and what Samuel and of the prophets. I can tell you of all the great exploits they did because they lived by faith. But who through faith subdued what, y'all? Kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtained promises, and stopped the mouths of lions. Somebody holler through faith. And then he goes on the third. He says, quench the, the violence of fire, escape the edge of the sword. Out of weakness were made what? Strong. Wax what? Valid in fight. And then turn to flight the armies of the aliens. He said, I can tell you of these great exploits, of these great exploits of faith. See, you got to understand for men to, and women of God to do the things that they've done like this, it took aggressive faith. The word faith is pistis in the Greek. It means aggressive force with direct force, never passive, never retreating, never backing up or going backwards or being shy. See, aggressive faith, aggressive faith is faith in action. Touch me, touch somebody say, it's faith in action. Like in other words, when you have aggressive faith, you will go and apply for the job and you have absolutely none of the qualifications for them, but you realize it is not what you know, it is who you know. So when you have a Aggressive faith, you put the resume together, you put the application in, and you expect for the phone call. And when you don't get the phone call, you show up in human services during the week and say, something must have went wrong. I put an application in for a job, and y'all ain't called me yet. Well, sir, we went through calling people, and you wasn't on the list. Y'all made a mistake. Y'all ain't going to help me. Do you realize that I've been deployed here to take your corporation to another dimension? Am I talking? to the right people. You got to have that level of confidence. And if they ain't got enough sense to recognize who you are and whose you are, that means you just got another resume and another application to put in somewhere else. You got to be, huh? Holla, be aggressive. This type of faith is determined, persistent, and is stubborn. Look at 1 Samuel 17 and 48. I want to show you how this type of faith looks. This type of faith is not moved by what, what it sees. This type of faith is moved by what it knows and what it says. It says, and it came to pass when the Philistines arose and came and drew nigh to meet David, that what? David haste and ran towards the army to meet the Philistine. In other words, he didn't wait to be attacked. He attacked. Y'all ain't going to help me in here. Listen, and he didn't attack with an army. He attacked with his faith. How do you know he had faith? Because he let him know that this uncircumcised Philistine, God is going to deliver into my hands. Everybody else was standing back. Everybody else was afraid. But David wasn't afraid. Isn't it amazing? He went to face an army all by himself. How do you know he was ready to face an army? Because he made sure he filled his pouch with five stones. Y'all ain't going to help me in here. He didn't just go fill it with one. You got to remember Goliath had brothers. He was ready to take on all of them. So he went into the fight ready for everything and anything. But how many people know when you conquer the biggest giant, you ain't got to worry about the rest of the so-called bullies. And I'm telling you, when you defeat the devil in faith, you ain't got to worry about his imps. You ain't got to worry about his yelling or his minions. Am I talking to the right people? Touch your neighbor and say, don't be attacked. Y'all ain't come up. Be a, don't be attacked. Say it. Say, don't be attacked. You got to attack. Shout, be aggressive. If you play basketball, if you play basketball and a team starts to press you, a team starts to press you, if you are going to beat the press, the first thing your coach tells you when a certain type of defense come up like that is attack the press. If somebody or something is pressing you, don't you stand back. Don't you sit there and wait for them to overtake you. Touch your neighbor and holler, be aggressive and attack. Be aggressive and attack. Look at somebody and say, get up off your seat. Get up off your, your duff and make sure you're coming strong. Make sure you're coming aggressive. 
The enemy going to attack your family? Well, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent take it by force. Oh, you attacking my family? Okay, that's cool. Guess what? We're going to have prayer every night. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You attacking my family? We're going to have prayer every night. Am I talking to the right people? Oh, you attacking my family? We're going to have praise every night. Y'all ain't going to talk to me. We ain't got no drums and no keyboards at home, but we're going to get ourselves together and we're going to have a hand clapping, foot stomping time. We're letting the devil know even in our house, you have no victory here. Do I have a believer in the building? I want you to jump up right quick and holler. You got to be aggressive. <laughs> 